Hello everyone, this is Ron from My Tech Legion and this is the Cooler Master Gemin 2 S524 CPU Cooler. This CPU cooler is compatible with the latest Intel and AMD processors uh, such as the AM, Socket AM3 Plus or AM3 although it's not listed there and it's compatible with AM3 Plus the Socket AM3 and AM2 are actually have the same mounting hole so it should it should mount without any issues and uh, even the FM1 socket used in the A series processors it is also compatible with the, the Sandy Bridge motherboards the socket 1155 as stated in front of the box and uh, let's flip over the box to the back see some of the features and uh, see a feature list of features here listed in multiple languages and uh, basically com comes with a 120 millimeter PWM fan see placed on top and it is also compatible with a 140 millimeter fan if you want to install that and here's actually a if you look closely there is a clearance here of 47 millimeter of the overhang from the CPU to the memory so if you have uh, taller memory modules that are under 47 millimeters it should slide under that is an improvement over the previous Gemini 2 Gemini 2S which was a smaller version of the Gemini 2 the original version uh, which was actually had a clearance of 50 millimeter and then the cooler master in the revision of the Gemin uh, in the Gemin 2S lowered it to a smaller version now they've raised it again to clear uh, taller RAM sinks and uh, see the side some of the other features you have a you have the table here of all the specifications not just for the heatsink itself but for the included fan as well and uh, the fan included is rated uh, noise level 15.1 to 31.6 dBA so that's not bad considering it goes up to 1800 RPM and uh, the airflow is from 34.2 to 77.7 7, uh, CFM and is a life expectancy of 40,000 hours that is very good and uh, let's try to open up this box so we can see what the Gemin 2 S524 looks like and we just break open on the seals from the side the protective tape covering first and the accessory package we have uh, a single pack yeah you can see the universal cooler master backplate if you have uh, a previous if you have a cooler master aftermarket heatsink already like a 212 or a, a TX3 or a V6 GT it's pretty much the same universal backplate and uh, but uh, what what differs for each one is the mounting side and let us actually open up this Packet, so we can take a closer look further. Here's that back plate, and uh, this see this side here, which you're facing, is the Intel side, and this is the AMD side. So the AMD mounting holes are the same for each one, whether it be FM1, socket FM1 or AM3 or AM2 Plus. And this is the Intel socket. You have you have three holes there for 1136, 1155, and socket 775. And see what you have here. This is the AMD uh, mounting uh, mounting bracket for the front. And these are the Intel ones. See a pair of them, and you can see you can slide depending on the socket you want to use 1155 11, 13, 1366 or 775 the 1155 and the 1156 are pretty much the same so uh, that's why there's only three settings in there and in this packet right here you have uh, there's a bundled thermal grease and this is actually for your uh, for uh, so you can use a screwdriver on the nut if you, in case you don't have pliers or 
monkey wrench or anything and uh, these let's see pull out four nuts included and there are four of these rubber protection basically rubber washers and there are four of these tiny screws to this is for the uh, mounting the mounting plate to the front to the front to the heat sink itself before you can attach it to the back and uh, let's put away the uh, accessories and look at the documentation and you have a user manual like other uh, Cooler Master documentation they're all pulled out in multiple languages So we have another user manual, and uh, I'm assuming one is for Intel and one is for AMD. And there's actually the Intel installation guide. And now here is the Gemin 2 S524 itself. Let's move the box to the side. Make sure there's nothing left inside. And see, it's inside a pair sandwiched between uh, two star from here. Yeah, for protective purposes, just remove it completely, and the fan is already pre installed. You see, it's screwed in place. And here we go. There is a okay. First thing you see, see there's a warning label right underneath the base. Of course, uh, you might want to remove this before you use it. You don't want melted plastic on your CPU. And you can see that this is actually a copper base, but uh, it is nickel plated, electro plated nickel, so it's a protective layer. Because because uh, exposed copper, it basically, uh, if you've seen statue, copper statues, for example, in the Republic, they eventually turn green. There's, uh, there's an oxidation that occurs, so electro plating it protects it. It also makes it look, look much better, matches the uh, aluminum fins much slicker and as you can see there are five of these six millimeter copper heat pipes and uh, the bottom is actually smooth there's no texture see there see the reflection and uh, as mentioned the 120 millimeter fan is pre-installed and there's also mounting holes for a hundred and forty millimeter fans so in case you want a better airflow you want to uh, install it you can just screw it in place and you can reuse the screws used on the 120 millimeter and the 4 pin fan see it's PWM and it's actually uh, so it's not sleeved but it's a uh, has its own flat uh, covering unlike the red and white or colored PWM fans you see in other devices and uh, this of course the uh, warranty is void sticker uh, on the fan itself so, uh, but now let's see what else. Uh, let's try the clearance. Actually, I can't really see the clearance. I'm gonna grab a RAM module here. I think it will be better if we install a uh, it on the motherboard because you can see uh, even this. This is actually one of the tallest uh, DDR3 modules available in the market. This is the Corsair Vengeance. You can see, and uh, it it is it can't clear the 47 millimeter. Uh, clearance, so you might want to use a different uh, RAM module smaller than that. But uh, actually, I think what you can do is mount it uh, if you're, for example, your motherboard is facing this way and your uh, RAM modules won't clear this area, you can probably mount it uh, this way with the uh, overhang over the, uh, the, over the back side of your motherboard if there is enough clearance because uh, the uh, it won't affect the airflow anyway since it's, it's all downward blowing. And uh, let's now install this uh, heatsink, Gemini 2 S524 heatsink into our system uh, so we can run our benchmarks.